Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Bite Size Science. My name is Andrew and I'm a staff scientist here at the Discovery Center. Today I want to show you how to make your very own slime using just a few simple ingredients. What we're going to need is some good old-fashioned school glue. We're going to need our good friend here, baking soda. And we're also going to need our contact solution as our activator. I also have some nice blue food coloring. I use blue because it's my favorite color. And I have some glitter glue. You can use that as well if you're feeling a bit fancy. So let's get started and see how we make slime. First, we're going to add our glue to our little bowl here. There we go. Then I'm going to add some baking soda. And this is where we get to experiment. We can try different amounts and see how, our, how it turns out. I'm also going to add a little bit of color here. There we go. And we'll add a touch of glitter glue. Okay. So what we got to do, we have to mix it all together. So we want to mix it together until our color has gone throughout our glue. We mix in all of our baking soda as well. So we see we have it here, we have it mixed all together. Now we want to add our contact solution. So we're going to start with just a couple drops here. And mix it together and as soon as we add the first drops we can already see the texture of our glue starting to change here. Let's add a couple more. And depending on how much of our contact solution we add, we can have a really slimy, sticky slime, or we can have a nice uniform slime. So you can experiment there and see how you want your slime to turn out. Let's add a couple more drops here. Here we go. This one's nice and sticky. I like mine to be a little bit more smooth, so I'm going to add just a couple more drops here. Okay, when it sticks to our spoon, we know we're ready. So what did we do? How did we get from glue to slime? Well, our glue is made up of a compound called PVA, or polyvinyl alcohol. And PVA is what's known as a polymer, which are large molecules with repeating units. Polymers can be synthetic, meaning they were created in a lab. This includes things like our glue here and the PVA that makes up our glue. But it also includes things like the compounds that are used to make plastic bags and styrofoam. There are also polymers made of proteins that occur naturally. Some examples of those would be cellulose that we find in plants, particularly in uh, plant cell walls, wool that we see from animals and we make our certain uh, clothes with, our hair on our head and on our body, and even our DNA, which is inside of our cells. The reason why our glue is runny at the beginning, but slimy at the end like this, is because of the chemical reaction that occurs when we added our contact solution. The contact solution contains borate, which binds to the PVA molecules in our glue and makes them stick together. That's why we're able to stretch it out like this. We're able to roll it up into a ball like that. We can see that it, as we do all these different things to it, because of those bonds that were made, it sticks together. I also want to show you this one that we made here is sort of sticky and clumpy. But you see that our earlier one is nice and smooth. And that's because it depends on how much of each ingredient you use, how your slime will turn out. So that's it for me today. I hope you learned something new. I hope you experiment with your slime, add different ingredients, uh, add different amounts of ingredient, and see what type of slime you can make. 
Until next time, this is Andrew from the Discovery Center reminding you to stay curious.